Hi, my name is Olivia Kadanyets, and we do always talk about how to get you into film and television, but today we're just going to take a little bit of a different perspective because I want you to know exactly what you're going into when you're working in film and television on a regular basis. So this video is going to be more about what I don't like about being an actress. Number one, you are on standby pretty much all the time. You are relying on somebody else for work. So that means making sure your phone is by you all the time, you're checking your emails, you're favoriting important contacts that are going to be emailing you, your agent, casting, whoever, so that comes in first because a lot of the time they need a response right away. This industry is a hurry up, hurry up and wait. And you do not want that opportunity going to somebody else. Number two, while you're standing by, you are gonna have a lot of mindset issues. Well, at least that was my experience. I'm constantly wondering, what else can I do? What more can I do? All these things start running through your head and you really just have to be mentally strong. You'll learn to develop a thicker skin, a thicker mindset, but you do have to put in some work. So I've been doing some EFT tapping. I'll leave my coach's email down below just so you can be exposed to new things. And I also find journaling helps, being in acting communities. There's going to be months where it's quiet, there's going to be weeks, and you need to be able to fill that void yourself instead of constantly expecting it from somebody else. Just so your relationships don't suffer, you always want to turn internally. I also want to mention my Actors Workbook Part 2, where I have tons of jobs that you can do that are still in the industry that don't require you to be the actual main lead actor and help will help you create an income in film and television so you can stay active, stay in the field, stay vibrating instead of like say going for a waitressing or bartending job. Not that there's anything wrong with that. There's more opportunities if you're already in the industry because you never know. Someone doesn't show up sick, hey you're an actor, you're here, let's go. Number three, this industry is feast or famine. Like I mentioned before, when you are working a lot, it's going to come rolling in. With time, you're going to figure out your flow, how it's all going to work for you. But that's something I don't really necessarily like about the industry because there's no stability. I search for stability in my relationships and what I eat, being able to control things like that to some extent because my job, you never know. And I also want you to be surrounding yourself with people that are supportive because this is a challenging, challenging industry and I want you thriving on all levels. Number four, being an actor is not an easy lifestyle choice. You will be challenged on many areas, mentally, physically. You have got to really put your best self forward because you are selling yourself all the time. I mean, life has no guarantees, but at least you know if you like study to become a doctor, you get a job in a hospital, you'll be working. Same thing as a lawyer or working at the post office, you know what I mean? Like you can get an acting gig, but it could only be a day player role. So you'll be working for a day or two days. And even if you book a job once a month for 12 days of the year, it's still below the living means of probably what your goals are. Last thing I want to leave you with is especially during holidays, it is really hard when your family comes up to you or even your friends and they start asking, what shows have you been in? Where can I watch you? It doesn't mean you're not good enough. You are trying your best. This is a tricky business. It's very subjective. Every audition you go, go out for, you don't know if the casting director promised his or her niece that they got the role already or they owe an agent a favor. You don't know all of the behind the scenes stuff that's going on. So when your family comes picking and asking, they genuinely want to support you. And I know from personal experience, it's more of a trigger for me. Let me know how you feel and how you've handled it. And if you have an answer that you go to now, I kind of just say, hey, I'm working hard on it. How's your job? ask a question with a with another question that's always a nice way because people love to talk about themselves so 
Next week, I have a video coming all about actor survival jobs. So jobs that you can do on set without having to take a waitressing job, bartending job. Keep in mind that all of these jobs are not steady. It's just another way to make money and collect, collect, collect. So you'll have multiple streams of income. I want to hear what are some things you don't like about being an actor. Let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe and I'll see you next Tuesday.